Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm doing Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Okay? So, April 1st, 2020. Let us all, this week especially, let's all be grateful for the simple things in life and the hope of, of peace and see love in all. Right? We're, we're being shown, we're, our eyes are opening to the love that is surrounding us through social media, through our families, right? We're all going through that now. As well as, you know, the those people who are, some, some who are still thriving to get power through like the smaller you know, um, let's say smaller gods per se of, you know, uh, status and ego, you know, and staying in relationships that are no longer abundantly growing in love. I mean, these are things we have to come to terms with in order to rise above and transform. Those are the things that we are all trying, hopefully, to work on, right? Aligning ourselves with the simple things in life, but yet not allowing the emotional um, discontent, almost like divine discontent for the things that maybe have not worked out, right? So we're going through a lot. Let's just put it that way. Yeah? So let's keep, let's keep, let's keep our emotions, right? Let's be aware of our emotions and keep the peace in everything, especially this week because there's a lot of activity planetary in the planets, the planetary aspects like Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, everyone's direct right now. All the planets are direct. So there's like tons of action, tons of power. People are really grasping. I'm hearing grasping for, there's one side of the coin that's grasping for the ego, the egoic part and trying to be disciplined and structured and figure it out. And then there's the other side of that coin, which is the, you know, um, those who are healing th through it all, you know, and trying to, to accept what has lo been lost, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, we had this last week. Okay. Juggling. First word I heard was juggling. Juggling. Juggling between right and wrong. Peace. And, you know, peace and, what am I hearing here? Peace and a sense of, like, Opposites, polarities, that's it. So we're juggling the polarities of life. Thank you. We're juggling the polarities of life, not knowing, right? Own, honing in on our finances. So some, some are putting money away in their homes. Some are saving for a rainy day in your home. But I'm feeling the... the sense of polarity, right? Do I, don't I? That's what I feel. Do I, don't I? Oh, okay, so it's in love. All right, so now we have two of coins and two of cups with the, with the sense of happiness and home and movement. Your foundation. This is your foundation, your stability, right? You're in this polarity of thought 
whereby do I, don't I, do I stay, do I go, which, which, which is interesting because you're like sitting here thinking there are going to be those people, right? Because there are, there are those people who have been in relationships that have been like hanging on by a thread, right? Do I stay or do I go? And now we're on, you know, most everyone is pretty much needing to stay home. Therefore, this polarity is becoming more ex exasperated. It's exasperating because someone is like either really falling back in love or really wanting to leave. That's the polarity. That's what I feel. That's what it is. Do I stay or do I go? Yep. And we have two twos on each side of the of the four. Four being the home. Okay, it was taking a minute to get out. And here's the King of Pentacles again. Once again. Are we feeling the love? Are we stable? Are we grounded? Are we are we hoping are, are we appreciating where we're at right now? Or do we want to make a decision that's going to change? This King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, has been having a lot of questioning of relationship. So the earth signs are dealing with a lot right now of, do I stay in this relationship? Do I stay in this marriage? Do I, do I go? Do I take that risk? Am I happy here? Like this is another, this is another um, example of really and truly the time that you're spending in in your home is is exasperating because it's illuminating. It's illuminating. Like, are you in love or are you not? And if you are in love, are you in love in your home or not? So the King of Pentacles is thinking that right now and being driven to go toward literally the universe is driving this decision for the King of Pentacles in order to get out of um, emotional turbulence, right? This is one of the Ascended Masters, Archangels, driving the chariot and getting out of the rough waters and the patches of emotional turbulence because of this situation. If there is a decision, right, the polarity is what do I do? Do I stay or do I go? Which probably the king of coins has been praying about, right? And now the truth is going to be delivered or guiding the king of pentacles to make the decision on what is the way where what is the oh my god look at this you guys holy crap the way forward wow we have the two of cups and the lovers here are you kidding me oh my god wow okay so now i'm feeling okay because of the polarity seriously I'm feeling one is like the true love, the soul counterpart, and the other is an external factor that's being presented here. And that's the polarity. That's what it is. And this king of pentacles, who's right in the middle, is saying, I don't know what to do. Please help me. On this side of the scope is I'm in a home with someone I've been together with for probably many years, right? And here is probably a third party, which I don't know why this came out just the other day again. So this is really very, um, this, is, uh, this is what the universe wants to let the earth signs know. If you're struggling to be with someone who you've been with a long time, or to go and venture into a new relationship, or someone you've been in, you know, maybe you've been having an affair with, you know, what is spirit telling you to do, right? And this king of pentacles is having 
to make that decision right now, right? There it is. Trying to get out of our head and into your heart about this decision. Mm -hmm. This is pretty deep. Yep. Look at another polarity, you guys. Giving and receiving of love. So I'm going to put this here because I'm feeling that in this relationship, this particular side of the spectrum, which is in their the house, right? Probably a marriage. There is an issue about giving and taking here, which is the polarity that sits on this side of this of the spectrum. Yeah. It's about balance, right? Okay, and then let's look on this side where the chariot, the lovers, and the eight of swords being bound, this has to go. That's what's going on. So that's what's happening to the king of pentacles. One relationship stays and one relationship, which I believe is a third party. The universe is saying, this is destructing. This is just destructful. And it's hard for this king of pentacles to accept because the happiness, where does your happiness lie? Let's, let's ask the universe, what is the, where does the king of coins heart lies? Hold on. Where is the king of pentacles heart going? Look, oh my God. Wow. All right. So here it is. This king of pentacles is literally his heart is with a soul counterpart. This, and I just had this, we just had this reading with the King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is definitely saying, I need to be with my soul counterpart. And that is here in my home, in my everyday, in my day to day. I need more giving and receiving of love in my day-to-day, -day, in my marriage, right? Because apparently this king of pentacles had other options or even if you're just living together, right? Someone could have, you know, you could have been interested in someone else during which time now it confuses you on whether you're with the right person or not, right? And who's going to give me, who's going to make me happy? Well, it's going to be your soul counterpart. It came out exactly like that. Okay, so let's get, um, I can't leave it at that. I can't. Oh, my God. All right, so the Queen of Swords, she is, I believe, she's the soul counterpart. Uh, this is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, yeah? And the two queens coming out, I think that what... <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm feeling is the universe is saying the soul counterpart of the king of pentacles is the soul who is right for this king is the queen of swords who's in the home. There, Because I have two queens, I believe the universe in this depiction is telling me that this king knows that it's the queen of swords that fits the bill, that stabilizes, that stay, is stable in the home, that makes them him happy. It's a balancing of masculine and feminine. This masculine and feminine is whole. It doesn't become a polar opposite. Someone who is very much like the king of pentacles is the queen of swords. Why? Because Mercury rules both the um, Gemini and Virgo here. So this could be dealing with a Gemini and Virgo for sure. Let's look at the bottom. A wish come true. Wow. The time is now. It's a wish come true. So this had to end in order for this to stabilize the, the situation here with, with the King of Pentacles. This is all about the King of Pentacles finding and choosing his soul counterpart. It's very specific 
because why? The universe wants to let you know if this applies to your story, this is your destin, destiny. This is the karmic circle that has now come around. And this week, starting tomorrow for the next week, is going to impart and open someone's heart to where they see the light. Open someone's heart to where they see the light, right? Something goes, something that goes bad turns into someone else, someone's destiny. That's the polarity of it. It is also the, the coming around full circle of something that was wished for. A wish come true. And someone knew it. Look at this. The Queen of Cups could be could be the third party, right? Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be involved in the third party. Or it could be the choice. Or the choice is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups is one person. And here's the blessing coming from heaven, the destiny. I pulled those three cards. And someone who lives from afar. Okay, so that is a very specific message for someone dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Wow. Let's get a couple cards just to get... Okay, so this, <clears throat> this King of Pentacles would definitely be the one that has been planning this whole situation right they've been planning this they've they are seeing you know this is like the seasons change the seasons change the light now is in front of this king of pentacles who does see how he, he sees the light the king of pentacles sees the light has gone through an ending and now sees the light of a new day and no longer feeling confused about what they're, right? It's all about the stability and the survival and foundation of one's life, which is right here, right? It is. It's all about stability. It's all about how am I going to plan for my future and who is my future? So this could be someone saying, let's move in together. I've been planning it. We've been together for seven months, maybe eight months. People are moving in together. People are seeing that it's time to make some decisions for happiness after a time, which is not only a fertile time to do so, but it's also a time of healing. This King of Pentacles is healing. Healing the heart and choosing stability and security, right? I mean, that's what the King of Pentacles does. Chooses stability and security over the, the fling. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, that's a very grounding. Okay, so the chapter, a new chapter begins, right? A, a, the chapter of... The wish come true. The journal, the journal, the page is being turned in the journal of life for this King of Pentacles. This is a very specific reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. And I'm feeling it's Virgo and Gemini. And on, on the side, if there is intuition, this Queen of Swords could be the intuitive one, but it's also the King of Pentacles who is as well. So that could be in the chart. That's why it's good to know. Oh my God, it's, wow. I, wow. This is coming, this is happening. This is very real right here. This is happening. And the universe is saying to the King of Pentacles, choose wisely. So this King of Pentacles had choices. One had to go and the other one is staying and that is their wish. The wish is the choice has been made. 
We have two sevens here. Let me see if I have another seven here. Yeah, we do. The chariot is a seven. So this is t totally, this is without question, divinely guided. I mean, if you're questioning, there's three sevens in this reading. Come on. This has been orchestrated and the destiny card, of course and the blessings, right? I mean, it's all here. It's all here. Yep, someone, someone saw the light of a new day and said, I'm merging what I want and what I've, and I'm making it happen. I'm merging my masculine and feminine to get what I want. And that is what I want. I'm merging masculine and feminine into one decision. There is no longer polarity. The polarity has been merged into the choice. That's how I feel. And the choice had to be made. Someone had to leave and someone stayed. Or someone is going to be chosen. And whatever choice it is, is coming from the divine. This is a blessing. Okay. Well, this is very specific. So, April Fool. This is not April Fool's. It is April Fool's, but this is not an April Fool reading. This is an actual reading of someone finally being guided to make the right decision for the rest of their life. Venus is also in Gemini, so I feel strongly that this is a Gemini, I'm telling you, and that's a Virgo. I'm not saying it couldn't be the other air signs and the other um, earth signs, okay? Charity, prayer and contemplation. Yes, I believe without question that this King of Pentacles decided to pray heavily on an answer. Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive. This... This king of pentacles definitely was asking for help and has been given the answer that is, that is, oh my God, a, a soul counterpart here that has been happening and being, yeah, that is going to stabilize the hope for the future. Look at these cards, you guys. Look at that. There's the truth. And this is the sword. Oh, I just, yep. The sword of truth that the queen holds. So, wow. Unbelievable. All right, have a great day.